Now I give the floor uh, to uh, the representative of uh, the city of Tallinn, Mr. Vladimir Svet, uh, who is deputy mayor in Tallinn since 2021 and responsible for environment, public engineering and security. And beside all these, he is the founder of the Tallinn News Council and he was the head of that council uh, last decade. The floor is yours. Thank you, Mr. Tomori. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, is a is a small city uh, around half a million, um, and I will try to uh, give you a look of what have we been doing um, with the pesticide policy and where we are now. What are we uh, willing to do in the nearest future? A few facts: uh, half a million. Um, Budget is about 1 billion um, and the area is 160 square kilometers. Uh, if uh, we need to say a few words about uh, Tallinn as a green city, we are going to be the green capital of Europe next year. And uh, I think that we are uh, quite good in the question of green areas that are situated near to where people live. Um, we have an island, we have lakes, we even have rivers, and we consider ourselves to be the uh, orchid capital of Europe as well. And um, yes, the slider is very quick. And um, the way we approach our development, not only from the topic of pesticides, but generally is um, the development strategy for 2035 that gives uh, the aim for the city to live, um, to move towards the um, urban landscape that would uh, support the strategy of a green and global city. And uh, for all the steps uh, to follow, this kind of general strategy for all the activities of the city was the most important thing to, um, to adopt. Um, we started with research to understand who are the main users of uh, pesticides in Tallinn city. And uh, by today, uh, we can say that uh, the city's own use of pesticides is um, brought to minimum. The new procurements we are uh, now having in process that will um, be used to obtain all and, and maintain all the green areas of the city exclude the use of pesticides and um, which means that we see that for the city itself the question of pesticide is so, sort of closed. The question is what is next? Um, the next um, is that we need to understand who are using the pesticides inside the city if we are not doing that. And by today we know that um, the main users are the uh, state facilities, the railways, um, different huge facilities that are landowners, and of course people with private gardens. And um, what to do with them, that's the main issue for us. Where we started, we started with an instruction for everybody responsible for maintaining public, public land of how to do it without using pesticides, with uh, using plants uh, that do not require using pesticides, how to uh, maintain uh, and, and handle um, everything without them. Um, and um, this has been an instruction that was uh, just a guideline until today, and we hope that in the beginning of next year we shall um, draft a bylaw by the city to make it obligatory. Um, not only to prohibit, but also to promote best practices, um, we have um, created, created a digital list of plants that are suitable for public areas in our climate, in our reality, um, in order to um, guide not only city stakeholders, but also uh, private landowners uh, towards the picture we want to see, not only from the point of view of what plants can survive without pesticides, 
but also from the point of view what can survive the Estonian winter and summer. Um, we have started to uh, promote this kind of approach ourselves and show the citizens um, how this kind of um, guideline and this catalogue of plants can be used in the very street we are walking and driving every day. We have also made um, an analysis of uh, the use of glyphosates um, in the beehives that are situated in the city. We have quite a lot of them, also on municipal buildings since a few years. And um, when we analyze the pollen from the beehives, we have uh, discovered that um, no glyphosates has been uh, discovered there, which shows that um, the use of pesticides on private land which is not controlled by us, is still not that high or not as high as we have feared. We have started to train um, local residents and companies on how to maintain the streets without using pesticides and public areas that are in private use. And um, where we are moving now, we are moving towards, uh, as I already mentioned, um, a law that would um, put people to use the guidelines we have described before. And where we see uh, the lack of regulation is the national law that would let us actually um, dictate for the private owners what should be the best practices. Now we are doing it as partners, as friends, and of course we see that more regulation here is needed. And maybe a few examples of where we are heading now. We are creating a highway for pollinators uh, on, um, on a territory that was dedicated to the high voltage lines in Tallinn. Um, we are reusing uh, our former bogs as uh, pollinator parks. And um, we really hope that uh, people will understand that this pesticide free environment can coexist with functional and pleasant green areas. Thank you.